How does combative Wing Chun compare to self-defense systems like Krav Maga? Now, Krav Maga and other self-defense systems like that are great. Um, and they're really good for learning how to protect yourself, getting in good shape. And usually after 6 to 12 months, you learn pretty much everything you need to know in order to um, you know, self defend yourself you know, efficiently and effectively uh, against most situations that you encounter in the street if you train on a regular basis. But after you train all that, then what's next? What do you do after that, right? So that's where combative Wing Chun comes in because we go beyond just the fighting, okay? We will teach you that. We'll give you the mindset, all the tactics, all the uh, skills that you need to defend yourself. But after you learn all that stuff, then what, okay? We teach you the internal Kung Fu. That's what, we, that's what you get. And internal Kung Fu is something that you can take with you um, into your old age. Even if you're 90 or even 100 years old, you'll be able to use internal Kung Fu internal power because you cannot have big muscles. It's hard to keep up with those big muscles when you're old. All right, you have a law of diminishing return. So what's going to happen is that you need some kind of internal power. Uh, we teach you how uh, some of these things in, in our program, uh, how to cultivate that so that it grows, that you have health and vitality and strength and power even well into your old age. So a lot of self defense systems will not teach you any of that. Okay. And um, we also go beyond just that, and we also teach you life skills, and we also teach you self-mastery, which is priceless. All right? How much is it worth to you to be able to achieve anything that you want in your life? That's priceless, isn't it? So we go beyond just the fighting, beyond just the techniques, and we go and we teach you those things. So that's where we are different from a lot of other self-defense schools.